Hi, welcome to another edition of Cook This. This is your favorite local TV show where we take some of our favorite local restaurants, ask them to come in here, cook some of their favorite dishes, and serve them to a panel of special judges over here. I'm your host, Pete Kelly. Thanks for joining us again. Uh, well, let me introduce our panel of uh, celebrity judges really quick. We have Miss uh, Lauren Presto over here back. Good morning. Welcome back. Good morning. We have Mr. Nick Gale from the Fine Arts Division. Welcome morning. back, Nick. Thank you. And we have um, a special guest, uh, Draven Calvetti. Draven, welcome. Hey, Dad. Student. Um, <laughs> hi, Dad. <laughs> A uh, little That's plug. Cute. Hi, Dad. <laughs> um, today is a first on a couple uh, different dimensions here. First, we have our first organically inspired restaurant, which is really neat. Uh, this is going to be a great show. And the first dish he's going to cook us, which is another first for us, actually a weird first, is he's going to make us some breakfast. Oh, so wow. we're going to have some garlic and linguine for breakfast. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. So his first plate... Um, is going to be an Irish stack, and this is the executive chef from Prasino in LaGrange, right downtown, downtown LaGrange. And they've been around for about a year now, a year and three months, I believe. Mm -hmm, year and three months. So this is the executive chef, and he's going to show us how to make an Irish stack breakfast. Take it over, Chad. All right, we'll start with our Texas toast. We're just going to take plain Texas toast. You buy that at the grocery store, no problem. We order it in from our bread company. We're going to toast it up on both sides. We're going to saute a little bit of onions to go with our uh, corned beef and hash. Get that going, let the onion sweat a little bit. You are getting onion breath, I guess. So you oh, yeah, yeah okay. you're getting a little bit of onion in there, but not too much. And then we have our corned beef hash from our Nyman Ranch uh, supplier from us. We take uh, corned beef that we order from them. We take it down, we uh, break down the uh, protein itself. We grind it up at work. We put a little uh, shallots to go with it. Our uh, organic red potatoes. And we grind it all up together. So I guess right. we're going to be we hearing the, we're going to be hearing the O word a couple times today, huh? Yeah, a few times. We'll get that organic word in there. We'll get the Nyman Ranch in there. The whole our whole thing about our restaurant is trying to mm -hmm. eat better food, not exactly healthy food, but better quality of food for yourself. So, so let's we'll let start off go. with the name Prasino. What does where does that come from? Prasino means green in Greek. Okay. We uh. Oh, that's good. I now, one of our uh, Greek this morning. Our GM actually came up with the uh, name. Her husband was sick, and uh, one of the things she learned from the doctor is the better quality of food that you eat is better for your system, and it really helped him out. So nice. when he did so. So we'll take and toast that other side of that real quick. Got a corned beef heating up nicely. Turn up the heat just well, a little bit. Well, that's looking uh, corned beef. I've never seen corned beef that looked like it. Yeah, <laughs> usually uh, corned beef, I mean, you're so used to it out of a, a can sometimes, but uh, ours yeah. is so fresh and so good. Uh, one of our best sellers on the menu. You can get a, you can get an Irish omelet. You can get an Irish skillet. You can get an Irish stack. That's what we're doing here today. So, we'll get that bread nice and toasted right there. Put that on our plate. Get our potatoes. Now I have to admit up. that you know when I was there meeting them yesterday, talking to the chef and the manager. Um, one thing I'm really excited. We're all excited about with this show is, I was I had a misconception about it. I just thought, I thought it was salads and wraps and mm -mm. you know I hear the word green and the O word organic and. It's like, whoa, standoffish, but uh, I was pleasantly surprised to say that they had burgers, they had a, a whole slew of really popular plates, but it was just done in a more healthy style, mm -hmm. or farm-raised you know, beef or grain-fed beef, you know, quality, without all like the hormones stuff. and yeah. stuff like that. Right, exactly. A lot of people have that same uh, idea that just because we're organic, you're going to get tofu, you're going to get plain lettuce, right. raw right. vegetables. But no, me and, me and the executive chef are both from Texas. So we like that good home cooked food, that Southwest cuisine, lots of butter and that, you know, good and feels good to eat and just makes you really happy to, uh, butter is good. to be uh, eating it. So that's a big that's misconception amazing. people have. That's a big thing that we want to push to people that we're not just that, you know, vegetable, tofu kind of thing. You come in, you can get a skirt steak, you can get short ribs, you can yeah. get tacos, you can get your burger, you can get your flatbread, you can get your wraps and everything else to go with that. So here we go, we got our nice potatoes, nice and hot, our red uh, diced potatoes. Get you going on the plate right there. Sounds like you guys serve a little bit of everything. Yes, it's, it's, it's pretty awesome. wide across the menu. And then like a lot of times like we like to do, uh, anytime anybody comes in, they have a dietary restriction, you know, just because it's not on their menu doesn't mean we can't make it for you. Mm -hmm. oh, that's nice. So you come in, you have an idea about what you want. You can't do no garlic, no, uh, no corn, no soy, any, no gluten. We can make that happen for you. Yeah, they were very personalized towards yes. the customer. It wasn't just a menu for everybody. They can mm -hmm. customize and do this and that. So Which is important nowadays in the restaurant industry, in this economy, you know, that they go above and beyond oh, you know, yeah. to get you mm -hmm. your specific plate for Nick Gale, you know? Yeah. 
I was going to ask, what's the the atmosphere like? Do you, do you walk in? Are there servers? Or do you order You walk counter? in, you uh, regular host stand up there for you. Uh, the way our uh, restaurants decorated is more of a uh, contemporary uh, contemporary uh, look to it. Okay. Uh, our, our owner is very fashionable, and then part of the uh, decoration like of the, the uh, very true. <laughs> very, uh, an egg bust. We'll toss that down there real quick. Do a little more butter. Eggs. So why are eggs these eggs are brown? So much fine. Our brown eggs. They're our Eglin best eggs. The best thing about our eggs, they uh, come from pre-range chicken, hormone-free, mm. no antibiotics added to it. It's very nice touch, and it actually makes a huge, huge difference in the uh, product itself. Uh, our eggs come from our Goodness Green supplier, which would be the same produce supplier that Trader Joe and Whole Foods uses. So a okay. lot of our same product that we have in house, you can find at Whole Foods along with it. Let's see if we can get an egg not to crack open for us. There we, we got go. two minutes to do it. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a reality show. Oh, Can Chad not go. bust the egg this morning? Yeah. Get us some nice sunny side up eggs going here. So you guys do breakfast, lunch, and dinner then? Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. We are open at 7 o'clock in the morning, okay. uh, Sunday through Thursday, and then Friday and Saturday we're open until 11. Our Sunday through Thursday, we're open until 10 o'clock. We open at 7 o'clock every day, and then we're always open. Again, I had no Friday idea. And Saturday. I had no idea. They show me this giant menu. I'm like, skillets? So we got Stacks? a corned beef right there. I went in thinking it was strictly a breakfast and lunch place. And then when I saw the menu, I was like, wow, this is an extensive menu. Extensive menu. Yeah, it, yeah, it's all the way across the board, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Uh, a little bit Greek uh, influence. Our owners are Greeks, and the name, Crossing mm -hmm. though. Uh, our omelets are Greek style omelets. They're not your traditional French omelet, where it's everything put inside and folded over, or three-way mm -hmm. folded over, or, or even the old style where it's done on a, uh, on a griddle for you. Our eggs are more of a quenelle shape. It, uh, we take the pan, we flip it, you basically put everything in there, saute it together, and when you take your pan, you kind of make a little quenelle out of it, and it looks like a little tube on the plate for you. So we have our sunny side up eggs right there. Yeah, let's rip it up. Nice. And that's gonna be it. Let's do it. Yep, let's dig in. <laughs> Irish stack. Here's your Irish Ladies and gentlemen. Y'all enjoy. Chop off a piece and pass it down, please, so we can get some uh, go ahead, help yourself. You guys. I'll go last. <laughs> Why? What he's trying to say is he wants what's up left. He wants oh, most, he wants yeah. he's not dumb. We'll be polite and take a small amount. I raised him right. We'll take a taste test, Raven. We'll let you have it all. So, uh, so we got your hours. Where are you? Where, oh. uh, you guys, what's the address over there? Our address is 93 South Lagrange Road. Uh, we're located right across the movie theater. Anybody that's familiar with downtown Lagrange, you'll find us directly across our old movie theater. You guys have the movie a giant theater's been there for a while. Over there. Yes, we take a, about half the block. Yeah. Yeah, I it's, saw it's that. a quite large restaurant. We have about 180 uh, seats on the inside, Serving. and then. Um, during the good weather months throughout the summer and uh, spring and a little bit into fall, we have our patio open and we add another 60 seats on the outside of our It looked uh, like a whole other restaurant outside Yeah, yesterday. it's basically a whole other restaurant. We have to up our staff. I up the uh, kitchen staff about another three people, then we up our service staff about six more, and we bring on a couple more busboys wow. just for the uh, seasonal time. Is, oh, for the seasonal? And don't you guys have uh, valet service just in case? We do have a valet uh, service. You come up, you come up. It's uh, validated right there for you at the restaurant. You come up. It's right outside the... Uh, well, door the uh, restaurant you come in. It's fantastic. Yeah, exactly. You don't have to worry about parking. And the you know, your valets, you know, mm -hmm. yeah, they take your keys, they go and park your car real quick, and you get validated at the host stand. And Excellent. So it goes. First to comments from two Nick, two thumbs restaurant. up. I love the Texas toast. It's substantial. That's you know, great. the thickness of the bread is able to kind of hold some of the juices rather than kind of falling apart like that thinner bread would. It's great. Awesome. Fun. Thank you. Yeah, I, I'm not a fan of corned beef hash, but this is very good. Because awesome. when I look at that stuff in the can, it's just like, mm, yeah, you can't eat like, it. Yeah, exactly. This is much more appealing to eat. It Excellent. looks like a regular sausage, Thank but you. very, very good. Excellent. Draven? Um, you know, I've actually had corned beef hash out of the can. You know, we make that <laughs> like that. Uh, and, you know, the tomatoes are already in there in the can. And you can actually taste the difference between processed and canned food. Compared to this, it's very fresh, very unique, and tastes way better. Excellent. Awesome. Thank you very That's much. That's what they're trying to get across. Yes. So that was the Irish skillet from Prosino. Uh, after the break, we're going to make some uh, lobster stuffed avocado. Ooh. Stay tuned. Ooh. Awesome. Ooh. Very good. Nothing for that one. Yeah. Hi, welcome back to Cook This. You're, um, 
local favorite cable show about food and our local restaurants. Um, to reintroduce our celebrity judge panel, we have Miss Lauren Presta. Welcome back. Thank we have you. Mr. Nick Gale from the Fine Arts Division, Thank you. not the regular arts division. That's we right. don't want to make that clear. We're, we're fine. And we have uh, <laughs> sophomore student Draven Calvetti over there. Good morning, everybody. Morning. We are featuring Prosino from LaGrange, and we just had a fabulous Irish stack breakfast here for the first time we had breakfast. Mm. His second plate he's making is a lobster stuffed avocado. So again, to show us how to make that is uh, the executive chef, uh, Mr. Chad. Take All right, it over. Let's go ahead and do our lobster avocado sauce. It's a uh, Basically a beurre blanc sauce on our menu. We call it a uh, what do we call it? The, the uh, lobster uh, fondue sauce. People really really love it. That's what they dig a lot. Uh, right here we got a little garlic and shallot. We're gonna sweat that out a little bit. Add some white wine. Let that go. Add a little cream. We want to let this reduce down, become a nice consistency. Get a little thick to it. Kind of like your basic, almost, you almost wanted the same consistency as a uh, Alfredo sauce. So basically you're just reducing down your cream, making it nice and thick, and then we're gonna mount it off with some butter. Can you hand me those chili flakes right there, what please? Was the, um, what was that last thing you put in there? Uh, that's gonna be seafood uh, stock right there. Oh, okay. Or lobster stock. We take lobsters, reduce it down. We take water, mirepoix, which would be onion, celery, and carrot. We make a stock out of it, and then we add it into our sauce. And we'll let that reduce down. I used to make a lobster spaghetti, and we used to use that stock. And a lot of people don't know that. Everyone yeah. thinks beef stock, chicken mm -hmm. stock, vegetable no. stock, but there's seafood, there's lobster stock. Fresh and then mangoes. on top, we're going to put a little mango salsa. We're going to take this mango, cut off the skin. These uh, mangoes came from our Goodness Greenness supplier, so they are organic. And the important thing to remember about the organic food, uh, try to buy anything that is, uh, doesn't have any casing on the outside. That's the most important thing with organic. You want to try to avoid all the pesticides that go along with it. So if you can take an avocado and take the peel off of it, you really don't have to worry about all the pesticides and everything else that come with it. But like a strawberry, it's on top of the strawberry. You eat the flesh, you eat everything uh -huh. about the strawberry. So you would like to try to keep that uh, organic so you can avoid all the pesticides and anything else that comes with it. It's really become a bigger problem now. Uh, Everything being are, sprayed and, and exactly it's it's getting all over the place. Hormones grow it I bigger mean, and with the farmers, the faster they can produce a product, the more money they can make. Mm -hmm. You know, essentially. And right now, we're just going to take a little bit of butter, mount it into the sauce, which you want to take it off the heat so it becomes. You you don't want to see any puddles of butter on top of it, basically. Okay. So we we'll take that, mount it in very nicely. One more cube. Just like that. So don't you have to be qualified with the government or something like that to be considered an organic grower? Uh, you don't necessarily have to be. You can be organically. I mean, you can be by the government and be certified organic, but uh, not necessarily. Does, just because you're a certified organic or if you're not certified organic farmer, it doesn't mean you can't. Uh, so how do you find a quality grower or organic? It basically, you just reaching out there, networking, talking to people, talking to people around town, talking to your purveyors, finding out where everything's coming from. So do you have local purveyors? Or? And we do have a few local purveyors. Uh, Knut's Farm, we take our uh, jam and jelly that you can get at any time mm. at breakfast time. It's on a few of our uh, items throughout the uh, dinner and lunch menu. And um, Knut's Farm also does our honey. They uh, have a honey hive out there. Every year they produce our honey for us. They stock a pile up on it throughout the uh, Throughout the summertime, they'll make enough for us to last through winter. So we always have fresh honey in it. Oh, okay. Knutsch's Farm, I want to say it's about three hours south of here. So down to South Illinois. So we take that nice mango right there. Now dice it up nice. Mangoes? How do you me? pick a mango, a good mango? That uh, you, you want to make sure flavor. the flesh is somewhat firm, soft at the same time. You don't want it to be rock hard because when it becomes rock hard, you're going to have that... Uh, it's just going to be hard and not uh, not too sweet to it. If this uh, or this uh, mango right here is nice and soft, it's bright in texture. Mm -hmm. On the outside, I mean, you should be able to feel it and you should be able to press into it just a little bit. But if if, if it's like a rock, it's just almost like an avocado. It's not okay. going to be very good for you. The squeeze test. Yes, yeah, <laughs> give it yeah. a good squeeze. And, and take an avocado. Going to split that out. <laughs> yes. <laughs> You're bruising them. <laughs> there we go. And take the pit out. Spoon real quick. So if something has like an outer coat, like an avocado, it's not as right. You're not, not as susceptible to all the uh, 
to the chemicals. To all the chemicals, okay. the pesticides, so it's and everything got that else. Shell on the because outside. exactly, it has that shell on the outside, and you take the shell off, and your flesh hasn't mm -hmm. been touched by that pesticide yet. So that's what you're also looking for. You hand me that mixing bowl, Pete. Thanks, you sir. Mix away. We got our mangoes that we just diced right here. A little red onion. Some cilantro. So this is a mango salsa. Yes, this okay. is a mango salsa. We're gonna take that. A little salt. Some pepper. Some fresh lime. Everything fresh, fresh, fresh. Yeah, no you kidding. Know, process mm. nothing, which is kind of. That's good. But you can yeah, taste. Right? I mean, you yeah. can taste the, the difference. Extra mile for yeah. Right. Exactly. We we definitely try to go all that distance. We have prep cooks that are in the back, basically eight hours of the day, prepping all of our items, and then we have our cooks out there, you know, producing your regular food for the restaurant. But it's a non-stop process. Everything that we do takes a knife and it takes a hand. Yeah. Nothing comes up out of a can, anything of that sort. So you have to have a passion for this. If you're gonna... Exactly. Oh, it's definitely a, a passion, worker. a love that we have. Me, both the executive chef and everybody, uh, we love what we do. We love everything about the food. And the more, uh, the more time we can spend with our food, the more you know, the happier we are. Remember the culinary uh, teachers like, you know, uh, what does she ask? Like, really what's your passion in the kitchen? Yeah. I'm like, well, mm -hmm. you, you have to be passionate because you're standing there for 10 hours. Right. You know? <laughs> if not more. I mean, you're lucky. I mean, if oh, you're executive minimum, chef, yeah. minimum, yeah. you're lucky you're not putting in 15 hours a day. Okay, right. You know? You're living there. Yes, exactly. You're pretty much living there. So we're gonna take a little red bell pepper, dice it up nice for our mango salsa. Who comes up with some of the um, entrees, like the different omelets? Is it the owners that come Mostly up our there? executive chef, Scott Harrison. Okay. He'll be our executive chef. I worked with him for the past, I believe it's been four or five years now. We've been together, uh, working together. And it's, it's been a good relationship. He's very passionate about what he does. He's very good at what he does. Uh, the new ideas that he comes up with all the time is really great because we have a seasonal menu and it's constantly changing throughout the year. At least three to four times a year it changes. So he's coming up with new ideas all the time. And uh, basically we run specials every day and that's where a lot of it comes from. We'll make a special, you know, if it sells well, people love it and they dig it, uh, then we'll put it on our menu. Okay. Let them enjoy it all the time. So we got our avocado, we got our mango salsa, we have our sauce, we'll take a little crab meat, Dice it up a little bit. So, is, uh, where would you get your crab from? Our lobster, I'm sorry, not our, uh, our lobster. crab meat. Our lobster meat, our seafood supplier is uh, Fortune Seafood, and uh, they basically outsearch all the uh, super <laughs> seafood. <laughs> yeah, squeeze out some of that juice. And they outsource our seafood, uh, our seafood purveyors for us, which they find the uh, wild caught. Uh, product that we carry in house. Yeah, Any uh, farming that we do, they make sure it's sustainable farming that uh, that we're Support. using up in our restaurant. So we take our sauce. Top in it. I have a little uh, sauce right here made already. All it's right. been blended up. I took it in a blender, made it real nice and smooth for you. Not everything can be made in eight minutes. Yeah. Yeah. So. <laughs> we understand. We trust sauce. you. Guys. Break that envelope together. We trust you. A little mango sauce on top. That looks that great. That looks beautiful. This looks great. And there you go. Lobster stuff avocado. Excellent. Pass it down. Pass it over yeah, yeah, very uh, visually aesthetically pleasing. Mm -hmm. awesome. Excellent. Very cool. Another cool. first. We're having lobster in the morning. Yeah. Fantastic. I'm not used We're to have great breath. In the morning. Great breath. You can have lobster breath. Oh, yeah. Lobster and garlic and shallot breath. It's okay. Uh, yeah, Let's get a quick there. comment from you guys on your first uh, bite there. I'm going to do a quick one. So you guys do uh, catering and we do try to do some catering. We do not have a catering menu or a banquet menu. Basically, the customers come in and we try to personalize it. They'll come in. Oh, I'll sit down with them, yeah. or another chef will sit down with them, or GM or another friend of the house manager will come in. We'll all sit down. They'll do, kind of discuss where the price range is, what they can afford to spend, okay. and then we'll start shooting ideas out about what so kind of almost food. like a custom made yeah, catering almost order for them. catering menu. I mean, they can pick items off our menu and we can do it on a bulk scale for them, okay. or we can do something totally different where I order in a special product for them and we you know come up with their menu for them. Mm -hmm. Excellent. So, First comments. Oh wow, this is just a nice blend and nice flavor and that sauce is just unbelievable on here. Yeah, awesome. well, it's, it's nice, it's nice much. and fresh, different yeah. textures. So it's great. Mm -hmm. Awesome, thank you. Great. You could really uh, taste the crab, the juiciness of the crab out lobster. of there. Yeah, mm -hmm. lobster. <laughs> <laughs> lobster. Lobster stuffed avocado. Right. Right. Exactly, lobster Blame stuffed it on avocado. Chad. Excellent, so we have some lobster for breakfast. We will be right back after this to have some miso glazed wild Alaskan black cod. Wow, that's I said that in one sentence. Be right back. Yeah. Awesome. 
Hi, welcome back to Cook This. I'm your host, Pete Calvetti. Uh, to reintroduce our celebrity judge panel today, we have Miss Lauren Presta. Welcome back. Thank From you. the Fine Arts Division, we have Mr. Nick Gale playing with his microphone over here this How morning. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> and uh, we have a celebrity panel over here with uh, my son. Yes. You're celebrity for about 45 minutes this morning. Uh, Draven <laughs> Calvetti, Mr. Sophomore, completed uh, driver's ed. Congratulations. Ooh. Congratulations. Today's special show, a first for a lot of things here. We just had some breakfast. Um, we have a studio audience for the first time. You can't see them, they're off camera. And we have a organic inspired restaurant called Prasino from LaGrange. Um, he's gonna make the final plate of the day, which is our miso glazed wild Alaskan black cod. Ooh, wow. Don't ask good. me to repeat that, okay? It's a one time deal. So making that is um, she executive chef from Prasino, Mr. Chad. Take it away, Mr. Chad. All right, let's go ahead and get started. We got our uh, Alaskan black cod here that's already been marinated in miso uh, glazed tofu. We take miso, we add teriyaki glaze, a little bit of water to dilute it down some. Otherwise, it'll start cooking the fish for us. Take a little teriyaki. oil, the teriyaki nice hot pan, and take our fish right here, put a couple pieces in the pan, let it start searing up, get the nice sizzle so sound going through it. this is black cod? This is a black cod. It's much different from your other cods. Other cods are much more bonier, uh, larger flakes. Meaty. This one's uh, going to be very meaty, very buttery taste to it, mm. it's, uh, smaller flakes to it. Uh, the bones in itself are much smaller. It's, it's a smaller fish itself. It comes out of a... Uh, Alaska, of course, um, it is wild caught as much as possible. Anytime our purveyors can provide us wild caught uh, product, they do so. And anytime they can't, we go with a sustainable farmer. So it, it's always maintain the healthiness as much as possible throughout the restaurant. And we'll let that heat up. We'll take a little bit of our uh, ginger carrot sauce. We got lemongrass, ginger, garlic, carrots. We let all that uh, do its thing in a pot. We take it, puree it, make a nice smooth sauce out of it. We'll take a little bit of this. Heat it up. Your salsas and your salsas are all very advanced. Oh, yeah. Sauces know, upon. Just... Yeah. Sauces, Something. exactly. Like that. Remember last that time? Get someone, nice. I got spurted last time. Not by you, by someone else. Right. Like flip, flip. I'm like, ah! <laughs> and I don't know what that does to the sauce, but it, it makes it look better. <laughs> makes it look better? Awesome. <laughs> no, we'll take like that you know sauce. Nice and heated up now. We'll let that sit there for a moment while our fish is continue Releases cooking. Releases the smell, that's mm -hmm. for sure. Right, yeah. Exactly. It's all, it's all advertising. Take another little pan. We're going to saute up our uh, Julian vegetables right there. Our Julian vegetables, <laughs> we have carrot, zucchini, squash. Our carrots are organic. Our uh, zucchini and squash, when it is in season, we try to get it organic. Mm -hmm. So we keep that uh, consistency with that product. Is it challenging? continually find organic products? It is a very challenging process. I mean, I can pick up the phone and call three different purveyors before I get to place my order. And then at that, I gotta outsource the farmers, make sure to see what they have. And also with everything to go with it, we have to make sure we sustain our prices. Uh, we are a restaurant, so we do try to make money. But at the same time, we also try to give you all the best product possible. Mm -hmm. You're gonna pay for quality. I mean, exactly. everyone knows that. You're not going to have a dollar and menu important thing Alaska about our menu, uh, yeah. the prices True. are fair for the organic product that we do uh, provide for you. It's not near as expensive as some uh, other organic restaurants. We try to keep it uh, fair and reasonable for the customers so we can get everybody the clientele. Anybody that wants to come in and have a burger, you come do so. But if you want to come in and have our black cod, bring your wife in, bring your uh, girlfriend and your husband, you know, a couple of <coughs> night, whatever it may be, girls night out, guys night out. We have an array of a beer menu, an array of a wine menu across the board. I was pleasantly uh, surprised when I was there because it was not what I thought of at all. And mm -hmm. the furniture, the decor was awesome. I looked at the menu. I'm like, wow, I can come after church for breakfast. Oh, we right. can do a dinner. But then I saw you guys are pretty kid friendly there. Right. So I'm right, like, exactly. I can bring this guy and he can down a half pound burger or whatever that they're cooking right. over there. And my wife can get her salad and I can get the steak. And I had no idea you can do that. You know, mm -hmm. an organic inspired place. Right. I mean, we can fit the uh, fit the uh, teenagers uh, with the our product and the uh, children too. We offer mac and cheese, regular mac and cheese, oh, okay. with the cheddar cheese, cream, penne pasta for them. Anybody with celiac disease, we're more than happy to uh, produce a uh, gluten free product. Celiac would be mm -hmm. gluten free. The, uh, basically, almost same thing as lactose intolerant, but a different form. Uh, it's with wheat flour and then flour product in there. Uh, we make a gluten-free bread in-house for those people. Mm. Anytime they want to oh, come wow. in and have a sandwich, you still want a burger, you still want a, your chicken sandwich, you still want uh, anything with a bread product on it. 
you can come in, we substitute gluten-free bread out for you, and you can still have that, you know, your burger. There's no reason why you shouldn't be able to. Now you guys take it even a step further. Didn't you say something about your furniture, the decor in there? Is like oh, our furniture. Oh, it's very interesting because everything is recycled. Mm -hmm. We were about two wow. weeks away from most of our furniture being the dump. It came from a... Um, a sports stadium. They took all the wood inside, recycled it, made our tables out of it, our floor, our beams across the uh, rooftop, and then our lanterns, our recycled cardboard. It's actually recycled uh, boxes they took, made really nice lanterns out of them. Um, but our whole restaurant, from top to bottom, we try to be eco-friendly and green mm -hmm. as possible, from our uh, chemicals to the way our kitchen was designed. To the water? To our, to our water, exactly. Wow. Uh, I mean, all the way across the board. That's excellent. Do you, find that, a food. do you find that that brings in some of your customers? Because yes, I know a lot, of people, a lot like, of people are looking for that. A lot yeah, of people want nowadays, they want to know that you're uh, trying to help out as much as possible. Can you have me? Well, what I like and, and what I love about this show is that, you know, we're getting across to the public what you might not see. Like I said, I live right. five minutes away and me, my family and I eat out all the time, but I have no idea that they have this kind of food there. Mm -hmm. So it's, you know, that's what I want this to get across. His normal clientele might understand and know all this mm -hmm. and be there as a regular customer but people like my family you know we had no idea but now we do know right so we right. can go there and get some fish or right and it's not so solely on you know like you said tofu or, or no I exactly yeah. you it's, come in you get your burger, burger. Get, uh, just getting fresh bread or and i'll feel better when i leave knowing i had the burger or the steak or the fish right yeah, it was exactly. a little bit better for me i mean you come in we also have a lamb shank on our menu along with uh Short ribs, we have a short rib entree that people like a lot. Uh, it's your good comfort food that people really enjoy. Uh, but also, I mean, for those people that like tofu, you can come in and get tofu. Mm -hmm. We have this basically same setup at nighttime, but with uh, tofu. So our uh, sauce is vegan, our vegetables are cooked vegan. And then you just get it. It's the same basic setup as a black cod here, but with miso glazed tofu on mm -hmm. top of it. All right, let's pass okay. it over. So we're going to take this. We're going to take a little Asian uh, sesame seed dressing right here, put it over the top. And then we're going to garnish with a little uh, oh. daikon sprouts right here. Those are pretty. Mm -hmm. What are those? Daikon sprouts. Okay. Wow. Very, uh, a little bit of a peppery taste to them. Uh, more or less like a horseradish. I mean, it's just like a... Uh, Sprout to a radish. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's okay. see it. Nice. Look at that's that. gonna be our finished dish right there. You don't want to mess that up. <laughs> <laughs> What's the name Can of this dish again? Of this is Alaskan black cod. Alaskan miso glazed black cod. Thank there you. you. Go. Get You'll enjoy. Oh, Everyone, take a quick bite. So to wrap things up, Chad. Um, Chad's from Prasino and Lagrange, right across the street from the Lagrange Theater. Um, hours seven to ten during the week, seven to eleven on the weekend. They do catering, personalized catering. And this has really been refreshing to see some uh, different Ooh. style food done in a very, you know, very executive, flavor. fancy way, um, but very down to earth, though. Very colorful, very fresh. I feel like I can go out to eat there and feel good after I leave instead of. Right, exactly. Like, I want to go run after I leave better. instead exactly. of wanting to go home to the couch. In, inside, you feel better about the product you just ate. And yeah, this is really Excellent. light and refreshing. Mm -hmm. It's great. Awesome. It is. You can and taste it, the freshness in the vegetables. Yeah. That sauce is amazing. I mean, like what you, you said. You like sauce. Yeah. Uh, like that makes said, a This seems like a uh, kid friendly place. I could take my brother there, take a girl there, or I could take my family there. Whoa, exactly. Slow down. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm on the road now. <laughs> take Excellent. Any there. other final comments? Two thumbs up. I awesome. think everyone, needs, come back. That's good. everyone yeah. needs to try. I took his thumb, so I got three. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. I want to thank my judge panel. Thanks for coming in and eating, you know, lobster. And, Always. You know, Always. fish for breakfast and stuff I like that. I sacrificed my stomach for you. <laughs> yeah, you thank you very much. Yeah. So, um, I also want to thank Chad from Prosino and our studio audience. Thank you for coming. I'll Woo! You. Okay. I'm your host, Pete Calvetti, and until next time, stay hungry. Thanks. Thank you very much.